Welcome guys to back to my calculus conundrums on the finding derivatives and in this video we're going to talk about how to find derivatives of exponential functions other than base e. In the last video I talked to you about how to find the derivative of e to the x uh, similar to what I have here and e to the u similar to what I have here. But the difference here is in this example or in this formula here, a is a number other than e, and same thing here, a is a number other than e here. So the formula, I'm not going to show you where it comes from, but it's a very simple uh, algebraic uh, way to find it using the, uh, you actually use the change of base formula to actually show this. But, but anyway, let me just go ahead and give you the formula. So if you want to find the derivative of a to the x, then that's going to be a to the x times the natural log of that base, whatever that base is. So if I just want the formula, if I want to find the derivative of 3 to the x, then I'll just take the 3 to the x that I'm given there and then just multiply it by the natural log of that base, 3. So it'll just be 3 to the x times the natural log of 3. So that's pretty simple to do. Now, but what if instead of a to the x, what if I have a raised to some function of x? Well, you still do the same thing. You still have a to the u, and then you multiply by the natural log of a. But you have to apply the chain rule in that you multiply by the derivative of u. So notice the difference between a and b here. a, we just had 3 to the x. But on b, we have 3 to the 5x squared, where this is a function of x rather than just x itself. So we have to have three factors here. Okay, so we have to have the natural log of a. It doesn't matter what order you write them. So we have to have the natural log of a. So here's the natural log of a, natural log of 3. And then we have to write this function a to the u. So there's that. There's a to the u. And then we multiply by the derivative of u. So we have to multiply by the derivative of this exponent. And the derivative of 5x squared is 10x. So we have three factors. We have the 10x. Then we have 3 to the 5x squared. And then we have times the natural log of 3. Now don't try to multiply this 10x by this 3 to the 5x squared because you can't because of the exponent. So just leave it written as three factors like this. Now, I'm going to end this video by just looking at a, a product rule. Let's look at, let's say we have a product. So the first factor is 4x cubed, and the second factor is 5 to the x squared. And let's, so we're going to have to apply the product rule on this to actually find the derivative. So remember the product rule. We'll take the first function, which is 4x cubed, and then we'll multiply it by the derivative of 5 to the x squared. I remember, uh, I just showed you the formula for that. So, so you'd have three factors. You'd have uh, 5 to the x squared. And then you'd have the natural log of the base, so times the natural log of 5. And then you would multiply by the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. Okay? And then the second half of the product rule, that part's easy. You just have 5 to the x squared, the, the second function and then you multiply by the derivative of the first function. So the derivative of 4x cubed is simply 12x squared. Okay, And so that's all I have uh, on this. This is a very short uh, video, but it shows you uh, how to find derivatives of exponential functions that have base other than e. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe to it. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how to find the derivative of log functions.